Hello there my crafty knitters. Welcome back to the Knitted Oaks channel. Today I just want to talk to you. I just want to have a knitterly chat. I have a couple of announcements that I want to share with you guys. So I just wanted to, you know, talk. So with that being said, first off, my first announcement is we are at almost 600 subscribers. Thank you a million times over. I want to thank the old and the new subscribers. Thank you so much for your lovely comments, your uh, questions, your concerns, um, reaching out to saying thank you or that video was great or help me understand what you did here. I appreciate it all. I thank you so much. Um, and I just really, it motivates me. Sometimes I'll be in the heart of what's going on in, in the rest of my day and I'll get an email notification from YouTube and someone will have the most lovely comment that just, you know, brightens up my day and makes me say, okay, this is, you know, I, it's worth it. It's worth it. So I thank you so much. Um, and I look forward to reaching a thousand with you guys and beyond. I really do. So thank you so much. And um, yes, that was my first announcement. My second announcement is that I'm thinking of planning a meetup. I really want to meet some of you guys if you're in the New York City or the tri-state area and you don't mind coming into Manhattan or something. Maybe we can meet up and, you know, talk knitting and stuff like that. Maybe we can even have um, a knitting session. You know, we can all sit down together and knit, work on whatever we're working on and talk. I think that is one of the greatest things about knitting that I enjoy so much. And I used to do a lot of that when I was in school. Um... I used to have maybe we'll do a knit yeah. meetup um, on my own on the side, or we can do it one of the weekends of a major event, which two are coming up in New York City. One is the New York City Yarn Crawl, and I'll put all the information in the description box about it. It's coming up towards, it's, I think it's the last weekend of September going into October. So I don't know if that's enough time to plan everything because um, the last time I checked their website, it was still on 2010 information. So if it up if it updates and shows me what yarn stores and stuff, maybe we can choose a location close to one of the yarn shops that's popular enough that everyone will want to meet up and sit down and, you know, chat and stuff like that. Um, and it would be a little, the weather will be still nice um, that we can still sit outside and meet up as opposed to the second event option, which is Vogue Knitting Live, which will be in January 2012, which as you know, January is in the middle of winter. But it is gonna be held at the Hilton Hotel again, as it was this year. And I'm thinking, you know, they have a knitting cafe where, you know, you can sit down and it's an area of comfy couches and yarn and stuff and you can bring your projects. Maybe we can meet up there. Um, it's normally not too far from the marketplace. It was like within the marketplace um, this year so we can do that and at least we'll be indoors and warm and that's how it should be if it's going to be a winter I would never have you guys out in coats and boots and some yarn and needles um, so that's one More of the things I'm thinking because about, um, people have classes and they're set at a certain time and I don't want you to think between hmm do I do I learn how to do the gusset on a pair of socks or do I go meet crafty knits from Knitted Oaks <laughs> in the knitting lounge. I don't want you guys to have to choose. So that's one of the things where I'm a little bit skeptical about scheduling a meetup within Knitting Live. But um, I can work hard and push to try to do one for New York City Yarn Crawl or do one separately on the side outside of both events. So leave a description, leave a comment in the description box letting me know which one you think. Okay, um, so the next thing I want to talk about is request. I really appreciate all the requests that some of you send me. Sometimes um, you watch something or you're, you're in a position in your patterns and you're like, what is this? Can you do a video on this for me? I am making a lot, the list is getting lengthy. So I just want to thank you all guys for your request. And if you have any more, you can leave it also in the comments of this video. Um, and I will add it to the list and I'm starting to work on those because those are actually giving me ideas, things that I haven't really thought of to do for you guys. You guys kind of help me incorporate what's the next tutorial. So the latest tutorial is up now and I will go ahead and put a link to that also in the description box. The description box is going to be full with information today, guys. So please, please read it. Um... Yeah, so if you have a request and you see something that you'd like me to do or that you don't understand, leave it in the description box and I will get to it. 
And I want to talk about a contest that I entered quite some time ago, and I won. And I just want to talk about how awesome the creator of this product is. And I'm talking about Marcel's Creative Crochet. She is also here on YouTube. I will also add a link to her channel here on YouTube in the description box. You may know her better as One Virtuous Woman. And she is an, an amazing crocheter. Her and her daughter run this company together, which is wonderful. And um, they did a contest, and I won. And I want to show you guys what I won. I won this little pouch. It's so gorgeous. I got to choose the color. Um, this was a surprise um, that I got a little flower on it, which is also very gorgeous. But it's well done, very professional. I love the lining. I love that it's also purple. I love the zipper. Let me open it for you guys because I want to show you the inside. And she gave me two business cards, so I'm going to keep them in here because somebody might ask me, where'd you get that? And I'll just hand them a card. So I will also leave the, the um, her website and her Facebook for you guys in the description box. And thank you so much, Marcel and Niasia, for sending me this lovely, lovely um, thank you card which is so cute. Her packaging was awesome. So I thank you guys very much. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this Nidalee chat. Let me know if you want some more. Let me know if you want to have more chats. We could choose a topic and just talk, Nidalee talk about it, okay? So God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, knitting is sexy. Bye.